Good morning. I've made my way down to Bognor. First little outing in Bognor <laughs> in hope um, to do some busking. And then I'm gonna meet a friend. I don't know what we're doing. I'm just gonna meet a friend. <laughs> I got here early because I know this car park gets really, really busy, but I've got myself like a prime spot. It's very good, perfect for the moho. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna do a bit of work for you guys <laughs> and then get going. Of course you come in. So this is my spot for the day. Actually in a different one. Pardon? Am I married? No. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's nice. Easy. <laughs> Alright then. <laughs> yeah, no, I've moved spots today. Trying out this little this little end of the street, so Another glorious day, I think it'd be a good one. Good, a good one. Words are hard. Good morning. It's been a weird few days. Uh, apologies for the fact that the vlog kind of hasn't gone anywhere but <laughs> this is actually moving out week if I haven't mentioned that already I don't even know where we're at with the vlog but this is moving out week for my parents and officially for me like I'm not gonna have a home <laughs> to go to if I need it and uh, normal my parents so it's been crazy we've been obviously putting tons of stuff in a really small storage space we've been doing tip runs selling as much as possible and we've literally only got now four days before we hand back the keys ah it's been stressful i'm so tired i've been done i've done a few busking this week as well because i'm kind of panicking a bit because <laughs> i'm gonna have to fend for myself saying that a few days to go we're so excited to just say goodbye to that house and start fresh in our motor homes so this morning i'm going busking for the last time in a while i expect in chichester my hometown and then i'll be back here and i'll carry on helping with as much as possible i.e probably more tip runs storage my dad's there at the minute packing as much as he can into boxes and getting all his tetris moves out i'm back on the drive today um actually squeezed two motorhomes on this drive i'm overhanging a little bit on the pavement but it's not an obstruction i think it'd be fine there's other vans down here that hang off their drive so i think it'd be okay but the reason i'm back here is because i'm having power issues so at the minute hope has been lasting about four days but it's been a struggle. I've not really been able to use that much. Fridge is on obviously all the time. The air fan is on. The max air fan is on quite low. And then obviously I've got USBs and the other thing plugged in, but nothing crazy. I mean, obviously the max air fan is probably more juicy than I expected and the fridge, but in this weather, I don't, you just, you know, got to have it on. So the solar alone, isn't really enough to be off grid and i do have the dc charger put in now but because my alternator is obviously quite old it's not very high powered amp or whatever the technical term is um i think it's my dad's my, my dad knows his is 45 amps and i'm pretty sure mine's about the same so the dc charger isn't running to its full capacity it's barely doing anything really so that hasn't really helped since putting it in and we thought it would but Oh well, it's okay. I have found the garage to see how much it would cost to get a better alternator and obviously get that all fitted. The same guys that did my MOT, they were really nice and honest and yeah, I would trust to take it there. And we're looking for a mechanic <laughs> for when all these things happen on the road and we can just be like, take me there. And I'll let them know that. In my situation, I didn't really want to have to do campsites every week because of the cost but at the minute it looks like I'm gonna have to at least book in once during the summer two maybe in the winter I don't know um but obviously the alternate will help but I still don't think it'll be enough to be fully off-grid urban whatever you want to call it I have been looking at those 
jackery power or whatever I got eco flow jackery I don't know what else there is out there but oh my gosh that's so expensive so expensive um yeah <laughs> I think I'll be saving up for that one <laughs> for years <laughs> Going next. <laughs> really great. Gosh. your Tetris skills, Dad. Yeah. Huh. Get the skills. Yeah. I think we got Izzy walking down here. Oh my gosh, doll. <laughs> oh my gosh, everyone's gonna fall out. <laughs> Alan key in there somewhere. Oh, it's for an Alan key. To get the bed down. Oh my days. Come Sorry. on then. I'm gonna have to take stuff out. Oh man. Back off the drive now and I've parked around the corner. Um, actually very close to the same place that I showed you in my first world camping experience in <laughs> my home. But uh, very close to home. We're gonna go out for dinner as a final farewell celebration thing. Uh, my grand's coming along as well. And yeah, very knackered for it. I'll be falling asleep at the table, but never mind, we'll be good. We'll get we'll get through. <laughs> on my way back though, I reversed into the wall on the drive and I smashed my back box in. I just knew that would happen. I knew it would happen at some point, but so soon, man. I can't be trusted. <sighs> so yeah, there is that. <laughs> Nothing a bit of Gorilla Tape can't fix. <laughs> Make my way back home. Goodbye, Hope, in the background. <laughs> I'm going to get mum and dad <laughs> and Posh Pops <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm going to get some food. I'm bloody starving. I've had such a day of it. It's been such hard work. <laughs> so done. So I'm just done. Plan for tomorrow though. I was going to get back on the drive. I'm going to empty my toilet and for my water up and all that stuff. Um, doing my washing before we go, and then we're just going to give the house like a proper spritz. Last minute tip runs. Um, got people collecting things from marketplace. It's all going on, but another busy day <laughs> for the hut. 
去分手。I don't know if you can see him. I'm not a massive fan of seagulls, but look, he's so clever. Look at him. Using his core. Wish I could use my core like that, standing on one leg. Go, Steven! Good morning. It is now Sunday. Can you believe it's Sunday already? Oh, it's come round quick. <laughs> I am absolutely broken. I'm so knackered. Not just me, mum and dad as well. We have just absolutely exhausted ourselves with everything. This move has been challenging. I think it's because we're not moving from a house to another house. We've done a lot of moves in our life. Like every three years, we kind of like rent a new property. Don't know why it just sort of works out that way. But um, yeah. It's not like just packing up boxes and moving it from one place to another. Getting rid of everything, all the tip runs, the s selling things. Oh, it's been exhausting. We spent the last two days cleaning the house. It looks like a freaking show home. I'm sure it wasn't that clean when we moved in, but hey, it's not ours and we want to give it back in best possible condition. Today then, today is the day we hand back the keys, but because we have so we have accumulated so much crap <laughs> over the years we are doing our final car boot this morning oh, i hate these things <laughs> they're so stressful so tiring and we've got so much stuff because it's literally everything that's left uh, so i'm in cattle market car park in Chichester, where they hold the car boot i'm in Momoho, of course slept here last night it's actually breaking the rules, you're not allowed to, but everyone's starting to queue up already. Um, they've been there like an hour and it's not moved. So I'm gonna tell mum to bring her car around soon, I think. Oh, it's not going right round already. Yeah, I'm gonna tell mum to bring the car around soon. Uh, we've already filled her car to the absolute brim and then dad's gonna bring his car around a few times <laughs> with some more loads of stuff. We're selling everything dirt cheap because we just need to get rid of it now. But yeah, I keep talking about these car boot sales and I've actually not taken you to one yet. So I'm going to give you a little bit of, a little bit, I don't know. They're stressful. I don't know how much I'll film, but so you can see what nonsense we get up to. <laughs> and then tonight we are heading to Eastbourne. I'm actually going to tag along with mum and dad for a little while. We're going to Eastbourne, uh, Biffling to campsite on Wednesday I believe and then we're going to have an actual break because mum's got a week off work and we're going to have a little campsite holiday and relax and I'm going to film lots of content for you and I'm going to do some extra bits that need doing in the Moho and yeah, <sighs> just take it easy. <laughs> I've got so much video to edit as well. Oh my gosh, there's just so much to do still. Never ends. <laughs> yeah, let's do this. For the last time. Oh gosh. <laughs> Please, for the last time. So we got a whole car load <laughs> of stuff. And then Dad's just brought over the <laughs> next bunch. He's driven off and he's coming back in a second. Oh my. And we've only got these two spaces. This is going to be chaos. <laughs> Absolute chaos. <laughs> Gosh. Ready to go, leaving that for this. Awesome. Goodbye, house. Gosh, it looks amazing. Look how hard we've worked, peeps. 
Look how clean, beautiful this house looks. <laughs> so excited. Are you excited, Biscuit? She's so confused. <laughs> Like change of plan then <laughs> due to the fact due to the fact of us all being absolutely exhausted worn out burn out actually sunburn um I mean, look at that I only mean, look at that what in um <laughs> we decided to just book a last minute campsite tonight rather than trying to find someone to park being first night for mum and dad um more or less first night for me because it's it now. I haven't got an abode to go back to when it all goes wrong. <laughs> but me and the parents are in it together, I suppose. So it's all going to be fine, but we're just going to chill. Actually sit down before like 11 o'clock at night for the first time in weeks. <sighs> just have a drink, I suppose. <laughs> Let's go and see mum and dad. I'll show you the campsite. It's in Lewis, so it's not too far for mum to get to work. And it's very quiet. It's a caravan what is it a caravan and motorhome site club site um yeah really sweet there she is grace i think mum's filling up with supplies What I must do if my flowers look like a crazy person who takes their plants on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, explain that it didn't get sold at the car boot and you couldn't get rid of them. Oh, oh that's a shame. Will they grow back? Yeah, yeah, might do. It's got some odd birds. Oh. Like it's a flower. Um, you better blog, hasn't you? I put that saw in there because I didn't want to look like another crazy person going to saw from the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my bed's actually broke, so uh, we've brought the saw with us. Dad's gonna fix it, of course. That's what he does best. I thought I'd better leave it. <sighs> Hi, how was the drive? I need to have less stuff behind my seat because I was like, I forget to steer me on it. And when I went into fifth gear, I had to put it between my legs. Well, that's a move. So it was like a move. It's like fourth and then up between <laughs> up between the legs, and then the gear stick was like there. Wow. Oh. Isn't too close. You're mate, we're almost too good at driving it. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the dog? <laughs> Where's Biscuit gone? Where's Biscuit? Where is she? Oh, she's having a sniff. Biscuit! Biscuit! What are you doing? Hello! Hi, Bee! Hello! 